and my family tree. My great cousin Lula first wrote it down how the poor settlers had to live in holes in the ground. They lived in their dugouts till they could build with sod. Kept praising their families and praising their God. The folks out in Kansas already know rich history was planted a way long time ago. Black folks that are settled here and called it their own. The wide open plains where the buffalo soldiers roam. Nicodemus, oh Nicodemus, my home sweet home is Nicodemus. Oh, there's history on the prairie, for as the eye can see, Nicodemus and my family tree. Grab your cowboy boots and come on over and see. In the spring of 1877, town promoter W.R. Hill, a white man, and Reverend Roundtree, a black minister, traveled to Scott and Fayette counties soliciting black folks to migrate to the promised lands of Kansas and settled at the newly organized town of Nicodemus. Nearly 350 immigrants left central Kentucky, headed for Nicodemus, and homestead lands. Many boarded trains here in Sadieville. Among that group were George and Effie Moore and the Williams Johnson families. Emma Williams, the newlywed daughter of Tom and Zarina Johnson, her sister Ella and brother Henry accompanied their parents on the trip. Emma was eight months pregnant when she boarded the train here in Sadieville leaving her husband Charles to come in the spring. A month after arrival, she gave birth to the first baby born at Nicodemus. The first to be born on the free soils of Kansas. She named him Henry after his uncle. Today, 135 years after the departure from Sadieville, a group of Nicodemus descendants returned to reenact that historic day in September 1877. Among them are descendants of George and Effie Moore. Although George and Effie were single, soon after their arrival, they united in marriage. As we watch, like their forefathers, they and other families make their way to the train depot.
journey now to the promised land. Yes. Uh, we know, God, you're going to give us strength. Yes. Oh, we know we can expect your protection. Yes. Come now, Lord, and go with us yes. as we depart here, going to the promised land, yes. going to Kansas. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I open my mouth to the Lord and I won't turn back. I will go. I shall go to see what the end's going to be. I open my mouth. Oh, my God. 
are too old to make the trip west, some which are too afraid to go, those who wanted to go but have no means to go, and those who just refuse to leave Kentucky. She's thinking about the sweet smell of Kentucky bluegrass with heavy dew on cool fall morning and the smothering humidity of the hot summer day. I don't think that one comes off, does it? 